Wilder's a great puncher. Maybe the best puncher the history of the heavyweight division has ever seen. But when you're a good puncher, you got to be set to punch. So keep him off balance. Move to the sides and do that. That's his best. If you're really in control of yourself, if you're really right up here, that's the way you go. But if you're a little heavy and you're not really in control of yourself and you want to roll the dice, yeah, you go after the guy. So I completely disagree with Max in the intention. I understand that, yeah, maybe that's what he might do. But the intention of it, that's a whole different ball game, baby. Listen, I'm here for anything that Teddy Atlas says about Peter McNeely because that brings us up to the analogy where Peter McNeely told Mike Tyson he's going to put him in a cocoon of horror. And as you said, it was like he ran into the propeller of the plane. It just did not work in any way, shape, or form. And then, and then he was selling pizza slices. And that's, yeah. you know, I mean, what are you going to do? But, um... But, again, a lot of people mistakenly, they thought, oh, you know, that was brave. That was, that was confident. He really believed in himself. No, that was out of control. Talking to Teddy Atlas with us here on Goa and Wingo. So, Teddy, looking at the fight this weekend, we've said it's a, it's a huge draw. It's such a big moment for the sport. Heavyweights and the attention on that division again in this one. In your mind, what's the best outcome this weekend if we're looking at the long-term and continued growth of, of boxing and everything that we've been doing here? I'll tell you one thing. I'm, I don't want to look like I'm picking sides because, you know, I have respect for all fighters that can climb up those steps and step into that chamber of truth. Not too many people can do that. Um, but can you imagine if Fury was to win the fight the magnitude of the next fight or whenever they could put it together with Joshua over in London. Oh, my God. I mean, Joshua sells 90, puts 90,000 seats into Wembley Stadium when he's fighting a doorman from King's Arms. I mean, that, that's, that's a fact. Can you imagine what they, they'd have to build another stadium to put Fury in there against Joshua with, with their ties over there in, in Europe, in London, in Ireland, it, it would be, it, it would be the, probably the biggest heavyweight fight of all time. Now, Wilder, of course, he wins. Yeah, it's a big fight, too, but he doesn't have the charisma. He doesn't have the drawing power. He doesn't have the backstory that I was talking about before to quite make it that kind of epic fight. Oh, all that being said, when we look at this now and we get to it, outcomes are great. What we're looking for is great. When you actually look at this fight, what do you expect to be the outcome when they get in the ring on Saturday? I think Wilder's going to win. I think he's going to win by knockout. Um, he's added He's added one thing. He's the only fighter that I've seen add anything from a technical standpoint since their last fight. You know, he's a guy that is all over the place technically. He's not good technically. If I was a... If I was a teacher and I was grading him, I'd give him a... If he brought me six apples, not one, he'd have to bring six, I'd give him a D because he brought me six apples. That's how bad he is technically. He misses you, he falls off, but he makes up for it. He's got that great, great eraser that makes up for all mistakes, that power. Punches are not made, they are born. He was born to punch with that right hand. That's the one thing he can do. But I think in the last, I noticed in the last two fights, he added something to that bomb. He added a missile, a delivery system, where now he blinds you with the jab, he mesmerizes you a little bit, hypnotizes you a little bit. Instead of using a watch like the hypnotist would you, he uses his hand and he makes you feel comfortable. You shouldn't feel safe and comfortable that way in a ring. And he goes this, and boom! And the right hand's right behind you. You never see it coming. He just added that the last couple of fights. I think that's going to be a plus. The Alabama hammer has a little something else in front of it to distract you. Teddy, your analogies today have been on fire. I love this. And you sort of alluded to this earlier, but I, I want to sort of pin you down on this because we have seen great punchers uh, in boxing before. Mike Tyson, George Foreman. Do you believe, as Deontay Wilder says, his Alabama hammer is the best punch you've ever seen in boxing? You know, I, I believe that I was probably the first one to start speaking about this and talking. It might have been on you guys' show, but I started saying this a couple months ago, and it's, it's getting out there more and more. Uh, let, me, let me properly phrase it by saying, yeah, for one punch, for one punch, I believe that Wada might be the hardest hidden heavyweight that I've ever seen. Having said that, Tyson could punch better with either hand. He was like Mickey Mano. He could hit on the left side, the right side of the plate. Wilder, only one side, on the right side, the orthodox side. But Tyson could do it either way. 
and Joe Lewis could do it either way. And Tyson and Joe Lewis, they could hit you with a short punch. But just like in the Burbert fight, perfect example. Tyson hits him that little bang, that little left hook on the temple, and what happens? He's all over the place, falling like like a drunk, or left, right, all over Burbert. I Joe Lewis, of course, could hit you with a short punch. Wilder needs distance. He needs room for that punch. That's that's the difference as far as properly explaining it. But as far as pure power, just the dynamite in that punch, man. Wilder, he, he, he's, like I said, he might be the hardest hitter for that one punch that I've ever seen. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.